Ten Doctrines of the Roman Catholic Church As we finished Revelation 11 and identified the beast to be the Roman Catholic Church and its papacy, we now stop to see what this church taught and still teaches, and why there was a protest against this church even till this day. Let's get started. Number 1. The Pope is the Vicar of Christ and the Head of the Church. The Roman Catholic Church teaches that Yeshua has placed the papacy, starting with Peter, as his substitute or representative on earth. In 1922, Pope Pius XI said this, You know that I am the Holy Father, the representative of God on the earth, the Vicar of Christ, which means I am God on the earth. Number two, the Roman Catholic Church is the one true church. Some Catholics even go as far as to say that all other denominations are deceived and or in rebellion, and that true salvation can only come by the Roman Catholic Church. Number three, the Eucharist and transubstantiation. The Catholic Church practices what is known as the Eucharist. This is their main event during Mass, also known as their communion. In a nutshell, they believe that they are turning the communion wafer into Yeshua's literal body and the wine into Yeshua's literal blood. They call this process transubstantiation. They believe Yeshua must be sacrificed daily in the Mass in order for believers to be separated from their sins and their sinful habits. Number 4. Works-Based Salvation The Roman Catholic Church teaches that one cannot be saved by grace through faith alone. But one must also practice good deeds and the Catholic sacraments, like baptism and communion, in order to earn salvation. Number 5. Veneration of Mother Mary. They call her Queen of the Universe and Mother of God. They believe she is sinless, like Yeshua, and Catholics even pray to her instead of the Creator. They believe that she is able to answer prayers and be another mediator between the Most High and mankind. Number six, prayers to the dead saints. Catholics believe that the saints are interceding for them in heaven today and can even provide some sort of protection and blessings. Number seven, purgatory. Catholicism created the belief that anyone who died but might have not been good enough to go straight to heaven but also doesn't deserve hell goes to this middle place called purgatory where they can work out their salvation through suffering and cleansing by fire, and thus eventually earning salvation. Number 8. Earning Indulgences This was a way to reduce the amount of punishment one has to undergo for their sins. One must perform an act or contribution in order to earn one indulgence per day. This was one of the concerns made by Martin Luther when he posted his 95 Thesis. Number 9. Claiming to have changed the seventh day Sabbath to Sunday worship. In their book called The Convert's Catechism of the Catholic Doctrine, we read, Question. What is the Sabbath day? Answer. Saturday is the Sabbath day. Question. Why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Answer, we observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church in the Council of Laodicea in 336 AD transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. Question, by what authority did the Church substitute Sunday for Saturday? Answer, the Church substituted Sunday for Saturday by the plenitude of that divine power which Jesus Christ bestowed upon her. So in other words, they claim to have the authority to change God's commandments. And finally, number 10. Only the Roman Catholic Church has authority to interpret Scripture. Their Catechism of the Catholic Church says this, The task of interpreting the Word of God authentically has been entrusted solely to the magisterium of the Church, that is, to the Pope and to the bishops in communion with him. Many Protestants translated and taught the Bible to the common man, and thus 50 million Protestants were ultimately killed for doing so by the Roman Catholic Church. 
we can start to see why the Roman Catholic Church was seen as blasphemous and also a harlot who drinks the blood of the saints in Revelation and that they do not teach nor believe the true gospel of Yeshua our Messiah. I'll leave a link in the description below for more info on this topic. Please share and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Thank you and Shalom.